We live in a crazy mixed up world, you and me. A world where people scurry about their busy lives trying to live up to their hopes and dreams. And in the midst of this frantic fray, there are people who put the fabric of society to the test. They push and pull like overzealous midgets in a mud wrestling competition. Every once in a while, one of these little people steps over the line and somebody gets hurt. That's where I come in. In a society like ours, somebody has to be there to look out for these poor, downtrodden souls. Somebody has to balance the finicky scales of justice. Somebody has to be there to make things right. And that somebody is me, Bill Rovier, Private Eye. It was late on a Thursday afternoon, the day of the week I usually hate the most, though I don't exactly know why. This Thursday, though, was turning out better than most. When I woke up this morning, my teddy bear didn't try to strangle me. My morning cup of water was the best I'd ever tasted. And best of all, I'm closer to catching mayo than I've ever been. Because... I'm Bill Rollin, private eye! It was a cellular telephone, and I didn't like it. Justin told me I needed to stop living in the 1940s and get with the times, but I don't see anything wrong with my rotary phone back at the office. He keeps going on about this new fad called text messaging. Why can't people just talk to each other and use a phone like a phone? It was from Harper. He says he's waiting at the office. I'll be there soon. L-O-L. Where's my office? Gone. Boss. Again? I thought I told you. It wasn't me this time. I went out for a pop, and when I came back, it was gone. Flat. Pulverized. Vernichtet. I got it. So, are the files safe? Where's Siler? I put Siler in storage yesterday, and the files are on here. What is that? Get with the times. 3.5 inch 1.44 megabyte floppy diskette. I don't know what that is, but I don't like it. At least the files are safe. They're what hold my mind together. Just like that snot glue stuff you get on credit card offers in the mail. I love that stuff. Now all I have to do is talk to Harper. So where's Harper? Harper who? You know, the guy with the problem. Oh, him. Probably waiting outside the... Office? I'll find Harper. You call the realtor. Tell her I need a new office. Cause you can't work without an office when you're Bill Rollier, private eye. The excruciating pain should stop soon. <laughs> she was a nurse and I didn't like her. Something about her seemed way too familiar. So how is he? He's in pain but stable. After you brought him in, we had to repair his broken leg and, and seal up his punctured lung and reattach his detached esophagus and well, his sacrum was broken and... She just kept talking in one long, incredibly unbroken sentence, moving from problem to problem, so that I didn't have the chance to interject. It was really quite dull. I don't care about all that medical jargon. All I care about is, is he going to be all right? Well, uh, I'd say he'll live, but only because we got him into emergency cosmetic surgery. Otherwise, he would have died of ugly. Say, how did you get in here so fast? Because I dug him up with my bare hands, carried him on my back for 16 miles in the freezing cold with gusts of up to 40 miles per hour and snow up to my pocket watch, blindfolded. But isn't it sunny outside? You're always walking through the snow when you're Bill Rowley to private eye. I'm Bill Rowley to private eye. I've only had it for one day, and this phone thing is already getting on my nerves. Anyway, it was a message from Justin. The realtor is ready to meet with you. I have to go find my office. Good night, Harper. (laughs) 
I met Justin in the realtor's office, but had to wait in the waiting room. I don't like waiting rooms. All you do is sit there, and the only other options are to read out-of-date magazines or wait in silence. And you don't wait in silence when you're Bill Rollier, Private Eye. So my office is destroyed and you get a haircut? But this is getting long. She was my realtor, and I didn't like her. Meeting with her always involved hours of waiting. So, do you have any good places for us to look at? Oh yes, I have a whole day worth of locations for you, pleasure. Right, whatever that means. Let's go. Oh, wait a minute. I've got to grab my keys. Uh. Have a seat, Mr. Rollator. This office comes equipped for up to six people. However, five of the spaces are already taken. But your rent will be very cheap, and you'll never be lonely. I'm Bill Rollator, private eye, and I work a lot. We looked at offices for hours. The more we searched, the more irritated I became. Not one place had any of the qualities I look for in an office. It looked like finding an office was going to be harder than I originally thought. I don't know how much more of this I can handle. I think I need a vacation. I know you'll enjoy this one. A completely soundproof room for any time you need to torture people. And when you get bored, there's piano here for your musical enjoyment. This isn't working. Call me when you get something good. It was a vacation and I didn't like it. I'd much rather be working, but I have no choice. Without an office or readily accessible files, I couldn't do my job. It was like having the perfect analogy on the tip of my tongue, but not being able to say it. I truly want to catch the bad guys. That's what makes me feel alive. Besides, what does anyone do on a vacation anyways? Being vexed by this question, I decided to investigate exactly what a vacation was about. I couldn't go to any of my usual contacts with this, because I didn't want to look dumb. The only other option was to watch vacation movies. After pouring through hour after hour of footage from theme park vacations, European vacations, and Christmas vacations, there was only one logical conclusion to be reached. When you're on vacation, all you do is tan by the pool. And that's just what I did, because I'm on vacation. Sitting by the pool was exhausting, and all I got was a sunburn. So I decided to go back to Justin's cave and play Taboo. Senor Mayo, Sombrero. Your inner monologue- Voiceover. When you're away for- Sunday- Focus. Trumpet. Station wagon. Booger. Taboo. Drop. I'm Bill Rollator. Private Eye. I'm Bill Rollator. Private Eye. Answer the phone. Private Eye. Bill Rollator. Private Eye. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Really? Good. Who was that? That was the realtor. She said she found the perfect office for me. Let's go. This one is perfect. Comes with two desks, one for you and your assistant. Partner! <coughs> Partner! And beds as well, so you can sleep in the office. Oh, let's not forget, a full bathroom. Great for interrogation or using the restroom. Ooh. <laughs> 
Well, it's not as good as my old office, but I'll take it. Justin, get everything ready ASAP. Come tomorrow, I want to be back at work. Yeah, after. The wave off. We live in a crazy mixed up world, you and me. A world where the price of being a private eye means that everything blows up in your face. A world where realtors take their sweet little time, and to compensate, you have to take a vacation. Which means not being able to tan and having to rub aloe vera gel all over your face. I'm Bill Rowleader, Private Eye, and I do my job to make this world less crazy and mixed up. Which is why it was so important to get a new office. I'm actually kind of glad my old office was destroyed. This place is much nicer. More room to work, less room to play, and I even have extra shelving for my files. Now I just need to buckle down and finish this job. I have a real problem. 